What I see is what you see, and there may be a bit of lag involved. Sounds a little bit crusty, but I think that's just how the soundtrack is naturally. Might be a little bit louder. I'll turn it back down a bit. Alrighty. Now it sounds a bit loud. I can't, the volume levels can't be consistent even on uh, on the same console that I'm streaming from. I guess I had it way down lower for a reason. That, that should be better. So what did I leave off on, anyway? Is this like a secret zone? I have no idea where we are. Planetoid A3. Okay, we don't need to be here. We are here for one reason and one reason only. We're off to hunt for watermelons. So, off to the, uh... Off to the wooded planetoid we go. Did I... Did I seriously just do that? I'm trying to just press the button to go fast. There we go. Alright, so we've been here once before. The gimmick is that there's water everywhere. It's gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass. Also, bamboo spikes. Those are going to be an even bigger pain in the ass. Let us proceed right and see what we can find. I still have not checked out uh, Vinny's video of this uh, of this game. I want to keep myself spoiler free, and it looked like it looked like he did a pretty deep dive into the game. Went for like two hours or something. You already started working on some Kana fan art. And by Kana, you mean this one and the other two Kanas you know? From Dragon Maid and Fire Emblem? <laughs> well, that's a crossover I wasn't expecting to ever see. But hey, sure, why not? What's that? It's a button, but I can't do anything about it. Can I shoot button? I can't shoot button. Alright, fine. But it was worth it going in there, because uh, map is desperately needed for a place as confusing as this. Yep, can't do anything about that. That's fine. Apparently, I'm gonna have to keep reactivating these, because I, I turned that one off uh, the last time I played this. Oh, and there's that thing! Yeah, the uh, that thing that was formerly a boss in the original Blaster Master. What the hell is it doing here? You know, come to think of it, you could play as that thing. That, uh, alien mutant thing. You might not believe me, but it's true. Uh, Shantae was a DLC character, and one of her transformation dances, believe it or not, was that particular alien. It's safer work, except for Kana's melons being accurate. <laughs> Fine. I, I wasn't expecting it one way or the other, really. Fan art is fan art, and those hurt. I should have expected as much, but yeah, those hurt. And those bugs are annoying. Hey, yo, give me some SP! No SP. Are we gonna get, like, a... Whoa. What's this? It's like a little garden. I was afraid those things were gonna hurt me somehow. But no, it's just a garden. Hmm. <laughs> this calls for a particular video. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, yeah, the classic. 
don't know what I'm doing here. Jesus Christ, that's loud. Oh, God. <laughs> Let me in! <laughs> I like that warbly sound effect at the end. <laughs> well, if you've never seen it before, now you know. Also, I am realizing that I had the uh, good old double audio going for the game in which I have both the capture sound as well as the, uh... as well as the desktop audio, which, if I have both of them at once, it can lead to a bit of an immediate echo. Do I need two keys for this? Apparently so, all right. Whoa, whoa, what are you? Shoot, what's my, what's my counter button? I've already forgotten how to play this freaking game. No, no, that's the wrong button! Ugh. What, what's my counter button? I can't remember. It's X. Jesus Christ, it's X. What is the deal with you guys? Ugh, okay. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse made a joke about previous bosses becoming common enemies. Have I seen the rest of the video, by the way? It's very eh. Unless you're a fan of making people uncomfortable, don't watch it. What, the uh, Eric Andre clip? For the record, no. I've, I, I honestly have, have mostly only seen the uh, GIFs at best. That was the first time I heard the audio to it. What? What is shooting me? What? What is this? Stop it. More turrets, huh? But they can't shoot diagonally! There we go. I keep forgetting what all the buttons are. If you played with several controllers of different consoles, saying press X takes a while to process. Oh yeah, isn't that the one button that's never in the same place? Oh, thank you, I needed that. Oh, I get it. These guys are, like, patrolling the gardens. So, like, if you if you step on the plants, they're gonna come and ruin your day. Or, or something. They're gonna do something. Will you guys stop it already? These guys just don't stop coming. So, I think it would be a good idea to just keep moving. They never try to ram into me, so, you know, whatever. Who cares? I'm still not used to the freaking counter move. I really need to practice more with it. Which I guess is what I'm doing right now, but even so... Aim, damn you, aim! Oi. Still can't open that door. I've heard that this particular area was, like, based off of an old Sunsoft game or something. I wonder how true that is. Oh boy, my inability to cross water is, uh, starting to annoy me a little bit. There we go. Give me the loot box. Give me the box. Give me the key. Uh, 
how do I get over there? Can I just cross over from the screen? Nope. Ah! Ah! Go away! Help! You can't just spam the counter button. As cool as it is, ain't gonna ain't gonna help you too much. Hmm. Can I really not go in the water? Oh, I can! What? Can you just casually go in the water? That changes everything. That's such a common hazard. Like, why? Why was? Uh, that is so frustrating. That you can just do that. All right, let's keep moving. Hello, who who is you? A human-shaped mutant? No, wait, an actual human? Huh? You you with Zavira? Zavira? You mean the mutants? No, I'm. You've gone and destroyed the crops I worked so hard on. You you dumb spud! Get ready for a beating. That gear he has. No way. Damn, I don't have a choice here. What are you talking about? What gear? The hostility of the legendary Takiyaki Master Gunbei! Hey, that sounds familiar. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, that didn't work. Uh... Okay, timing is real finicky on his counters. Whoa! I just don't know what to expect. Now I do. Now that I can actually... Oh, jeez. This guy's quick. This guy doesn't belong in this game. What? What is he even doing here? don't understand what the timing is. Is it after he throws that first pickaxe? Ah, I thought I had it. I thought I had it. And if I try to preempt it, it doesn't work. There we go. Ugh. But don't get too close to him. He's really aggressive. I feel very bad about not being able to get those counters in. Ah! No! I'm gonna die here! How do you... how do you do that? You know what game this guy is supposed to be referencing, but you can't for the life of yourself remember the name? Uh, is it Gonbei and Hikari? I know at the very least those were the characters involved in the game. Should we fight melee with melee? I wonder how well that'll work. The legendary Takeyari Master. Ganbari Goemon! Oh, is that what he is? And I still cannot... Ugh. How do you counter that? Yes, there we go! Jeez, that's really hard to pull off. This one is comparatively very easy. To counter, that is. Whoa, hi there. Uh, I don't understand how those picks move. It's so weird. Also, rapid fire, not as great as you might hope. Cannot pull that off when he's doing those shots. I can't do it. <laughs> it's like embarrassing that I can't pull that off. There. Man, this game takes a lot of practice to get good at.
Oh, nice trick. It's like a flashbang. You're not getting me this time, dude. Yes! 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 So close. <laughs> you have a very small window of opportunity. Ugh. You'll have to dig into some soft history. I don't know diddly squat about Gonbei and Hikari. Uh, you've got some gumption. I got all three G's, my boy. Gumption, gum, and gargle. Damn, he's still not giving up. Gonbei? Is that Hikari? Tay? Oh, it's not Hikari. Jason? Jason? Can you hear me? I got a call from that guy's support droid. If he's got a support droid, then he must be... That's right, Jason. He's an MA pilot. Metal attacker. The MA series was created and dispersed throughout space in order to... Co Do we really need this, like, info dump? Oh, no, wait. This is, like, Jason's inner thoughts. Okay. Eve once said that Sophia the Third was not... Not the only vehicle in that line. What's the deal, Tay? No deal about it. That fella's a true blade MA pilot. Same as you. Sorry, true blue MA pilot. Nani? Is this the part where they shake hands? I'm so sorry. I had no idea there were other MA pilots out there. Shouldn't you guys have better communications than this? Gone Bay, you blockhead. If you listen to what folks told you, I wouldn't have to clean your dang messes up so much. I'm just glad it's cleared up now. Jason and Eve, was it? I'm Gunbei. I work as a farmer here in this village. Well, these days it's more of a ghost village. The villagers are all hiding in a refuge deep in the mountains. And I'm who called y'all all the way from that there refuge. Name's Tay. Why does she have such a thick accent? Nice to meet you. We came here to find the access key for the dimensional tunnel that's near this planet. Y'all from Osaka, ain't ya? <laughs> of course. Of course. Outer space, planet Sophia, dimensional tunnels. Sure is a wide old world outside of this planet, huh? How do you not know about these if you're a pilot? Most likely the boss mutant, who you call Zavira, has the key. We both want to defeat Zavira, so how about we work together? Access key, huh? Zavira's definitely got a key, but... Uh, to tell you the truth, my MA's in a bad state. Zavira gave her an awful thrashing, so Tay's been trying her best to repair since then. Been doing my best, but I ain't got the parts I need. Gombe got her good and busted, so we need some brand new parts if we're gonna fix her up. Well, that's the story. I'd love to help, but we need to get my MA up and running. First. In that case, I'll lend a hand. We've got some spare parts you might be able to use. Would that be okay, Jason? Jason! Of course, anything for a fellow mutant-blasting MA pilot. Much obliged. Hate to ask, but could y'all come out to our refuge? You can get there by scaling the cliff outside the village. I've got it blocked off right now, but I'll clear the way for you. Got it. We'll head up there as soon as we get out of here. Oh, we even get a little prize. Shift up attacker. High speed dash counter. Oh, it's a new counter attack. Interesting. So incidentally, I think that little dungeon in there was supposed to be referencing, like, the gameplay of Ganbari... No, wait. Uh, what was it again? Yeah, Ganbari Goemon. You love Fred? Yeah, me too. He's always there when we need him. As opposed to the first game where he was always getting into trouble. Oh, Jesus, what? Oh, wait a minute, what the hell am I doing? I'm not supposed to be in here as Jason. That's a big enough... For some reason, I thought Sophia wouldn't fit through that. Oh, boy, don't I feel silly. Jesus! Enough with the bamboo already. I can't take it. Oh, God. Get out of here. These things are annoying. God damn it! I hate these things so much! You know what else I hate? It's goddamn worms. I can't shoot them in Sophia. 
Oh, hello there. Not interested. Not getting any extra stuff for a while yet. Oh, there we go. That's how we get in there. Gotcha. Bamboozled. That should have been the title for the stream. Hey, it's those things! Fun fact, uh, Shantae could turn into those things as well, back in the, uh... With the DLC for Blaster Master Zero. There we go. At least something's weak to those rapid-fire pellets. Huh? What? <laughs> Alright, that's not working too well. What is their weakness? Is it shield? Is it ramming a shield right into their face? Is that the weakness? All oh, right, you can walk in water. Oh, look, it's these things! We're not done with the Funhouse Star dudes yet. And I just ate that bullet like a champion. Good for me. Ah! Spooky jellyfish! Oof, I was not expecting that. With how popular Kana is, you might she better be playable in one of the DLCs for this game. Assuming she isn't already playable in the main game. That's what I'm here to find out. I need to know if you can play as other pilots in this game. And make a Whoa, 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 whoa. Almost got me there. Ooh, I don't like these sentry guns. Sentry, right up there! The only solace I take is that you can just move through the water. There we go. Alright then, give me, give me those prizes. Yes! You know what, this proved to be instrumental in Cuphead. Let's, uh, let's play with the charge shot a little bit. That said, Kana definitely stands out for her unique design, but everyone else in this game looks good, too. I feel you, man. I love the characters in this new and revitalized Blaster Master series. It's good. Eve, in particular, looks interesting with the half-corruption. Well, I'm glad you like her. Yeah, she's definitely changed a lot since the first game. I, I guess I like both designs, really. Although, I still don't understand the frickin' cat face knee pads. That still doesn't sit right with me for some reason. Like, it makes it, it, makes it hard for me to take her and her, like, troubles seriously. Like, oh, I'm suffering for corruption, but that doesn't mean I can't look cute. <laughs> I don't know. Ah! I would like to remind everyone that this is a blind playthrough. I, I have no idea what to expect when I'm going through these dungeons. That really caught me off guard. <laughs> I apologize if I spooked anyone just now. But yeah, that uh, I guess that's a good incentive to stay out of the water. You know, don't just go hopping in there willy-nilly. There might be leviathans in there or something. Even though it's only, like, knee-deep. Still kind of watch out for that. What's this? Uh, okay. Can you play as Fred? <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? It'd be hecka silly, but I'd be down for it. Let have let Fred have some fun in the sun. 
Uh, so where do I have to go next? Like, I see that there's a little zone over there, but I don't know how to... Whoa! How to get to it. I guess I just didn't explore far enough yet. Frogs are fun. Froppy, frog from Chrono Trigger, etc. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Like, every time uh, Fred pops out, I'm imagining that sound that uh, Frog makes in Chrono Trigger. I should stream that game one of these days. Perhaps the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, Nintendo DS version. By the way, we ran out of power. Oh, that's what happens. Well, if you just regenerate automatically, then there's not really that big of a threat to running out of power, is there? Anyway, is this the refuge we've been seeking? Wow. Nice ride. Hey, you made it! Nice bug. Is that your answer to Fred? That weird dragonfly Pokemon thing? I like it. This must be your M.A. Yep, this is Quibico. She's busted up now, but she's a faithful partner. Jason, Gonve, I'll get started helping out Tay. Although, I can't leave Sophia, so I'll just be supporting her over the receiver. Y'all have done enough just bringing the parts. Just rest yourself here. That's just a minor inconvenience. The last game made it sound like if you run out of power, you're screwed. The game last time made it sound like, oh, right, 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 with a text. Also, I know this guy's wearing, like, armor, but at first glance, I thought that he was just in his right hand, left on the screen. I thought he was just carrying a stack of green money. <laughs> Jason, thanks for all your help. Take this with you. Ooh, do I get the money? Oh, recoil jump. It's a chip. You can buy old Quibico's... How do you pronounce that? Qui... Quibico! <laughs> Maneuver data onto a chip for us? Thank you. To get to Zavira, you'll need to descend this mountain and climb the next one. That maneuver should make the climb a breeze. Great, thanks. We'll head over there as soon as Eve's work is done. Why the hell would you wear that much armor and have an exposed chest, you dunce? I... <laughs> I want to say something in response to that about how actual samurai dressed, but I don't know. I don't know. Kue... Biko. Kue Biko. Okay, I'll try to say it. Ready to rush out there, huh? Well, I don't blame you. As soon as Kue Biko is up and running, I'll be right there after you, but Zephyr's no normal mutant. If you end up on your own, be careful. What do you mean? It's a long story. If you really want to hear it, I'll tell you later. Basically, I let my guard down too many times. Oh, no. Is that what happened to uh, Hikari? Remember this, it's not just your life that you're fighting for. If I were defeated by a mutant, even Fred would be on their own. Oh, Fred means so much to him. It's heartwarming, really. I won't ever let that happen. I must protect the frog. You're right, you be careful too. <laughs> Waifu and frog. Oh, right! Just got some tweaks left to make! Y'all saved our bacon! I... This this accent is driving me up the goddamn wall. <laughs> our pleasure. Eve, let's head out as soon as we get this maneuver set up. While stuck to a wall. How do I get stuck to a wall? Uh... All this started when our taxes started soaring out of the blue? Excuse me? Is this gonna turn into a political story? Our crops have been having bad year after bad year, and what's more, yokai we'd never seen before had been rampaging in our fields. We didn't know it then, but those yokai were mutants all along. <laughs> That's one way to tie together a crossover. But anyway, we couldn't just hand over all our crops without, uh, just like that. We'd starve to death, so we went to see the governor about lightening the tax load on our on us farmers. How dare you! Was all we got for our trouble. Stubborn as a mule. We wouldn't take that lying down, of course. No one was gonna quietly starve to death for someone like that. 
So you started a farmer's rebellion. You're telling me the demons were actually mutants? Wow, who'd have guessed? Well, to us, it's known as icky. Icky? In our society, it's not uncommon. We're just farmers, after all. It's the only way we have to fight for our rights. So, we fight all the way to the governor's office and get inside. But the governor, he was no longer human. No way. Are you saying a mutant took over a human's body? Jason, please. Jason, please! What are you fighting for right now to stop that from happening? That's right. And that mutant is the one we call Zavira. Zavira takes over a human, consumes their soul, and reproduces. They get bigger, grow stronger, and then do it all over again. This Zavira sounds like the mutant overlord we fought on Earth. A mutant with intelligence and control over other mutants. There must be something special about these ones. Many died that day, villagers and loved ones. We had no way of fighting the mutants back then. Since Tay came here with Kuebiko, we put up a fight. Barely. Jason, I'm afraid you're diagnosed with JRPG protagonist intelligence. But our fighting force still dwindled. Now it's just us two. That is depressing as hell. Even with just the two of us, our icky will continue. I won't let it end. So... No explanation on the bug here? Like, what is it? What's the bug story? I need to- I need to know! Well, I guess we're never gonna find out. Oh well. I like how almost everything around here is made out of bamboo. Huh? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, this is new! Okay, wow. Okay, this is very, very different. In the original Blaster Master and Blaster Master Zero, uh, Sophia had a wall climb function. Where... Let me, let me try and demonstrate. So what you would do is, for example, there's a wall to my left. You would just hold up, and Sophia would start crawling along the wall. Now, we're doing it like Mega Man X style, which I'm okay with. Unfortunately, you can't aim downward while you're doing this, which sucks mightily. But, oh well. So what do we got here? Ah. Disabling traps one by one. Pretty sure that's just gonna be like a shortcut or something. Okay, never mind. I guess we're going back up. Oh yeah, I guess we... Blow them up! Get him out of my hair! Oh god. Okay, so we need to find a place where we can... Wait, what did I just do? Alright, we need to find a place where we couldn't go before. You know what? Probably way back at the beginning is where we need to go. So, sorry to disappoint you, but it looks as though this is going to be the story of, uh... Gunbari Goemon. It's gonna be the story of Gonbei. And not Kana, like we had hoped. So... Probably gonna have to wait another week until we meet her. So it goes, but hey! I mean, this is a full-on, like, Sunsoft crossover. And that's pretty cool. Kind of makes me want to explore a bit more about the uh, Goemon games, you know? There we go. That's how you deal with that. You're having fun with these characters regardless? Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that- <laughs> I'm glad that you're not here literally just for Kana, because I know that some people are. Can I? I can't drop down, but that's okay. There are other ways. So there's a place there. 
as well as over this away. Oh, never mind. Never mind, believe it or not, there's an invisible wall here. <laughs> it serves no purpose other than to make beautiful scenery. Alright. This makes you want to check out the original Blaster Master Zero since you never played it. Well, it's a good title to pick up. Uh, because these are um, kind of lower budget games, like, you can tell just with the aesthetics that they're going with here. You know, they didn't go for a full 3D game. They didn't go for uh, lavishly animated sprites or anything like that. A. It's the letter A. So, in addition to that, you know, the, uh, psh, the price is lower than most other games. Like, even Blaster Master Zero 2, wasn't it just, like, 10 bucks or something? Is this game trying to make me feel like a ninja or something? I, I can't really get into the mood because I'm driving a tank. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, that's good. I mean, it's a great game. I'd re I would re I, bleh, I would recommend it. Especially if you're into, you know, Metroidvania type games. Can I just... Whoa! No, you don't. Don't you dare. Alright. If that's how you want to play it, then fine. We'll play it hard. Never underestimate Sophia the Third's short stature. It's Mother Brain again. Uh, ah, ah. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't just sit on the goddamn bamboo. There we go. If you're in a pinch, that's how you recover SP. Both this game and the original Blaster Master. God damn it! These bamboo spikes. I hate them. Oh yeah, don't we have like a new uh, missile? Yeah, I haven't used this once. Let's uh, test it out a little bit. <laughs> Severely bamboozled. Yeah, it's not fun when they poke up and right into you. I mean, that's uh, that's how bamboo traps are supposed to work. You're supposed to get impaled on the spiky side. Oh god, I I dread the day that I try to stream uh, Fire Emblem Fates on this channel. Because any and all missions that involve ninja and bamboo traps and caltrops and crap like that, ugh, it's so annoying. Okay, I thought for sure there was going to be a boss there. <sighs> Alright, what do we got here? It's kind of a dead end, so this better be substantial. Oop. You don't know how sharp bamboos are, but you know how itchy they are? They're very itchy? Uh... I think a proper, like, whoa! I forgot about these dudes. They, uh, like to counterattack. You can counterattack their counterattack, though. That's so weird. But I'll take it. There we go. This is actually pretty good, because it goes through walls. And I have a severe lack of uh, wall going through weaponry. Whoa! Forgot that that could happen. Pont pontificating on the properties of bamboo. If you're quick enough, that's a pretty good way to just get two hits on that thing really quick. 
Oh, I could have blown up that wall. Ah. It's going to nag at me if I don't do it, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. By the way, uh, just a heads up, I can't guarantee that we'll actually get to fight the boss. Uh, whatever it was called, Zelvira or something like that. Man, that thing's still chasing me. Well, not so much chasing as just bouncing up and down. Uh, what? Whoa! What the fuck? That was very unexpected. Bees. Not just bees, that was like a chain reaction. So apparently those eyeball trap things are capable of sucking up other enemies and using them to spawn endless bees. I don't want that to happen ever again. That was horrible. Aha! I've discovered your weakness. You're incapable of attacking horizontally. Man, I gotta say, this game knows how to keep the surprises coming. I think there's gonna be something new to discover in every single dungeon. And I'm gonna have to be able to react to it. <coughs> I knew that was gonna happen, but I still, like, choked in my mouth a little bit. That's what I thought. There's no way there wasn't a secret way over here. By the way, so do they, like, hide in specific zones or something? I wonder if you can just sidestep them if you're careful. Let's see, I don't think there's a walk button, so... Alright, I'm too damn curious. I need to, like, find the rest of the secrets. Can't go this way? Oh, that's too bad. There should be a warning here. Careful with the shallow water leviathan. Ugh. Well, hello there. You're a quick fella, ain't ya? <laughs> That's how you deal with those things. Get them stuck in a corridor. Oh, can't use that just yet. What do I do about these things? Can I shoot them? Oh, too late. Can't find out now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold your horses there. Oh, he still got me. Now I can't use the hyper beam. Not that you want to be abusing the hyper beam too much anyway, on account of uh, it gets substantially weaker with time. And the only way to like refresh it is to use your counter properly. Oh yeah, speaking of which, we got a new counter attack that I have not used at all. Uh, let's give it a try. What the hell? Oh, you can just dash with it, though. That's pretty cool. Alright, you. You don't even have to move. I did not press the control stick while that was happening. Very good. What's not so great are these pesky shuriken things. I've about had enough of them. Oh, there we go. Found your weakness. Oh, and they drop keys, do they? Hmm. Takes up energy, though, so don't use it to dash around carelessly. I do what I want! <laughs> Uh, I'm not interested in these secret maps just yet. I wanna, I wanna progress the plot like as quickly as possible, cause I don't have that much more time to to be able to spend here. Uh oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 
Very cheeky game. Very cheeky indeed. You're not allowed to use the save point unless you collect every key. Well, dang me. I need that save point because I'm almost dead. Ooh, hello there. What are you? That's Zavira? What? That's like the hench... That's like the AI program from, uh... Captain Planet. Oh, nice particle effects, dude. Ugh. Oh! Okay, then. Well, good thing I get my health back. Alright, let's do this. Seriously, it looks like that freaking malware program that was with Dr. Blight back in uh, Captain Planet. Just wait for him to stop and then go all in. Just watch out for the second burst of fire. Whoa. <laughs> Even my homing abilities are worthless. But seriously, this can't be... the thing that gave Goemon so much trouble. Man, that's really good for closing the distance on a tricky boss. Nice! That's a... That's a severely disappointing design. Wait, what? I found the dimensional key already? What? That wasn't so bad. Testing, uh... Tay, I, I just talk into this thing? Hey, Jason! Can you hear me? Konbe, I defeated Zavira, I, I think. I thought I told you, don't let your guard down. Here's where the real fight starts, I knew it. Huh? What? Jason, get back right now! Freaking knew it. What's going on? I'm getting a signal. A boss mutant? You gotta be kidding me. A boss mutant? I already defeated Zavira. That was only one part of Zavira. Get back to Sophia. We're on our way. Hold on. Fred, save me. Okay, color me curious. What in the world are you guys talking about? Are we gonna fight the second part in Sophia? What? What the fuck? Jason Eve, are you okay? I can't believe it. This thing's gigantic. That's the real Zavira. Its size isn't even the biggest problem. You see that glowing stone at the top? That's Zavira's heart. Then we just need to attack. Yep, if you hit that, the whole thing will freeze in its tracks. But that's just the beginning. Then you need to go inside. There are a bunch of clones of Zavira inside it. They all need to be defeated. If Zavira starts moving again, you're in big trouble. It's not an enemy just one MA can take down. That's how poor Kuebiko got done in the way she did. So we can't get anywhere without keeping the heart under attack? Yep, that's what me and Gonbe here are gonna do for y'all. While we do that, you need to get in and defeat the clones directly. So that's the plan. Got it. Leave the clones to me. We're counting on you. We won't move. We won't let move one inch while you're inside. Things are getting exciting. Is that like Gonbe's theme? Since we started Ariki, we've lost more and more comrades until it was down to just me and Tay. The whole time, I thought to myself. If only we had more people. Now, thanks to you, we're an icky of four. Nothing could be more exciting. That's what my spirit is telling me. And here I am, too, traveling to the ends of the universe, far from Earth with another MA pilot, even joining an icky. I think you're right. Things are getting exciting. <laughs> the Mountain of Chaos. 
Gather Gather Vera. Very nice name. Whoa! That's really cool, but I don't know how this works. What? What? <gasps> oh, I get it! Oh yeah, that missile's pretty good. What did that thing just throw? It's a meteor shower! Oh, out of power. Not a problem. Yeah, that's like literally not a problem. Uh... So I don't really need to like do all that much now that I'm on top, right? Oh, hello. I guess I'll start at the top. Oh, thank god. I was afraid I was gonna have to, like, go through several uh, more dungeons or something. Pick up the power-ups while I can. That is so good! I love this new counter ability. Alright, I get it. So we keep attacking the quote-unquote heart. Oops. until it takes enough damage, and then we can go inside. <laughs> we could keep wailing on the, on the, on the head, if we wanted to. Oh, hello, there's two of them! Oh, they're throwing spikes into the mix. So you can't just use the... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Can't just use the counterattack willy nilly. You have to be smart about it, I think. <laughs> I don't know what to do when it does that. All right, we've lost our super gun. Uh just wail on him at close range. This game does look challenging, but probably doesn't feel that bad coming right off of Cuphead. Yeah, this is way more forgiving than Cuphead. Oh. Did not need to take damage there. Oh, cool! He's helping out! He's actually helping out! Thank you! Uh, but these Zephyrus are getting harder. Uh, come on! That's cheating! <laughs> and there's no pickups either. Hey, you can chain together counterattacks, though. That's pretty cool. Alright, seriously, you guys move faster than me. It's not fair. I can pull off crazy shit like that. Ugh. I like this move that they do. Oh, they can be defeated individually. That's good to know. Alright, I have wasted most of my counter energy. Gotta, gotta shoot back a little bit every now and again. 
just gotta survive. I just have to survive. And I get my health back after each phase. That's that's the only thing I can count on. Oh, oh, he's doing a bit of both. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. He withdrew the parts of himself that I could stand on. Got me. Got me twice! Take cover! Oh jeez, they went the other way. This thing's still going. I seriously did not expect us to be having to fight. Is this the last one? Is this the last one? I don't have to do it on the legs. I'm trusting that this is the last one. By the way. I've been neglecting using these. Let's give it a try. They explode whenever enemies get close, and that's very, very useful. Ah! Man, that does good damage. Mix that up with my regular grenades, and we got, we got it going. I need to use my sub weapons more often. There we go. That was good. So do we win? Do I win? Do I win? Don't win. It's not over yet. Did I, did I miss something? Is there another part of the body? What? What is this? What is he doing? Fire wave. All right. Cool. I wasted most of my energy getting up here. <sighs> you can't keep getting away with this. it up. And I'm running out of, uh, running out of health here. I need to be careful. Oh! Uh. Oh! Whew! Yeah, that was a good fight. It's over. Kanbei, you finally did it! Jason, Eve, it's all thanks to you. I'm just glad we could help. So hey, if if Kana is another metal machine pilot, metal attacker pilot, who do you think Kana's like robot partner is? Gone base Icky Icky had finally come to an end. Unfortunately, they still have a long fight ahead of them. That fight will be theirs alone on this planet. We have our own fight to take care of elsewhere. Since we got the access key, we'd better start getting a move on. Going already? Yeah, of course. Sorry for keeping you so long. You like this 8-bit Shadow of the Colossus? That's exactly what it was! I didn't even think to make that comparison. Cool. Eve, hope you can get the help you need on Sophia. Best of luck! So, by the way, in case you forgot, uh, Sophia is both the name of the tank and also the name of Eve and the tank's home planet. And that's our destination. Thank you, Tay. All right, time to make our way to the dimensional tunnel. Dang it, Ganbei. You got him pushed poor Kuei Biko too hard and got her all roughed up again. Ha ha ha! 
Don't you go laughing it off now. Who do you think's gonna fix her, huh? Ah, that was fun. I hope we get to meet Gonbei again. <laughs> it's like it's like Vegeta. The planet, my son, or me? Whoa. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, okay. So that's the consequence of fucking up and losing all your SP. You get a significantly weaker gun whilst you are recovering. Stop it. Stop it. Go away. Get out of my face. I don't like you guys. I am digging these missiles. The extra planets are absolutely worth going to. The only thing is that I want to hurry up and meet the plant girl. And I'm not sure if we're going to get that chance, like, right away. Uh-oh. Uh... There we go. Going down! There is still a bit of this planet left to explore. Oh. I, t I take that back. There's actually not all that much. There's like that one room and that's it. So I'm not going to concern myself with that. We're just going to go back, check out the next planet, see if Kana's there, and if not, we're going to call it a night. And e even if she is, then... Uh, we'll only be able to like say hello, and then we'll have to get a move on. God, this wall sticking mechanic is not intuitive to me at all from playing the first game. Make no mistake, if you choose to play both of these games, Blaster Master 2 will, like, betray your muscle memory instincts. You'll want to do one thing, but you'll end up doing something else. Yeah, I'm just going to save the extra planets for later. To Area C. Anticreates released another Switch game not too long ago called Dragon Marked for Death. That one looks cool, too. I am not familiar with it. Eve, you're wearing cherries on your chest. I just now noticed that. Ever since we left Montage, Eve has been spending more and more time in sleep mode. Eve's body is using Sophia's energy to keep the mutant corruption at bay. Because of that, she stays in Sophia and operates in energy saving mode. Every new sub-weapon and maneuver we equip puts more pressure on Sophia's energy systems. Eve must be using her sleep mode to reduce that strain. But in exchange, it's likely taking a toll on her body. And what's more, the further we travel, the stronger the mutants get. I need to find a way to increase Sophia's energy output. Whoa, what's that? That's not a planet, that's a... Uh... What the heck is this? It's just a bunch of question marks. Immigration ship. L-229. Is this the spaceship that was popping up on the radar? I believe so. This signal... You don't look too good, Eve. Somewhere on board is a module that could increase Sophia's energy output. Eve, don't push yourself too hard. Please get some rest. Sorry, Jason. I just need a bit. Sleep tight, Eve. Hang in there till I find that module. I'm picking up multiple mutant signals aboard the ship. Not a single sign of life on board other than those... The mutant attack must have wiped out everyone and everything else. Oh, man. It'll be tough going on without Eve's assistance. But this is no time to falter. I'll take care of this on my own, for Eve's sake. Oh, and you too, Fred. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fred. It'll be the two of us, right, buddy? I was, I was, uh, I was expecting a friendly reception. Whoa! A security barrier. Mutants managed to take over the ship's defense systems. Sophia isn't equipped to take on a huge mutant like that. 
Might be better to keep my distance for now. Uh, uh, um, what, what is this thing doing? What do I do? Oh my god! I trick it into breaking the barriers? Is that what's going on? This is really spooky. Oh god, it's like in Metroid Fusion where that X-Parasite thing chases you throughout the entire level. Ugh. It's gone. Golly, yeah, that's just like the, uh, the freaking... What's it called again? SAX? That creepy thing that, that was, like, mimicking Samus in Metroid Fusion. And you couldn't kill it because of the fusion suit. Ah! Okay, actually, that one's not dangerous. <laughs> I see those pink force fields and immediately associate it with danger. Oh, bouncy projectile's my favorite. Remember, we're just here to see if there's any new NPCs. We'll probably have an answer to that question when we go into the first dungeon. Are they supposed to be, like, womps? I think so, and I don't really have a good way to fight back against them. Can I, like, trick them into breaking that? No. Beware the pink menace. Kirby? Pfft, no. Oh, dang it! Dang it! Alright, whatever. Alright, first dungeon located. Let us see what there is to see. Ew! Bugs! Ew! Yeah, this is gonna be- this is gonna be great! It's gonna be just like that horrible, like, prison ship that, uh... Samurai Jack went through in the new season. And by new season, I mean, like, old season. But you get what I mean. Uh... There we go, got it. There we go. Boy, this is a little bit tricky to figure out. Ah! Ah! Oh god, they're like silverfish from Minecraft. I hate them. Probably because bugs are the closest thing to aliens and mutants. Ow. No NPCs, but there is a, uh... There is a map. Once we get started on the right path, I'm sure we'll find something. Or maybe that's sea creatures, which sometimes look like bugs. Oh yeah, the uh, most alien-looking creature on our beautiful planet Earth is probably like the uh, horseshoe crab. Or like the uh, giant isopods, or whatever they're called. You jerk. I already don't like these defense systems. I don't like bouncy projectiles. Ah! I just can't orient myself properly for some reason. I'm, I'll bet you anything that, like, the boss of this area is going to be abusing bouncy projectiles like crazy. At this rate, I'm going to be done with the level to the, in today's stream. Uh... We continue until we find a sign of in intelligent life. That way we have something concrete to look forward to uh, next week. As if this massive... Oh! 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 What the fuck? That's not what I wanted. Okay, okay. Ah! Man, this thing is a real jerk. Let me tell you. Doesn't look like we can go up that way. Oop. Golly, this is so weird. You have to actually cooperate with the boss monster 
before you can actually fight it. In order to break open walls. This is really weird. There we go, that should do it. Uh. Now, the nice thing is that it... Uh-oh. The nice thing is that it apparently cannot get to us if it doesn't have, like, an empty ceiling to drop down a hand from. Boom. Boom. Got it. Yeah, man, this is, this is weird. This is real weird. So if the ceiling is blocked off, then it just goes away. Was that a trap? Was that a trap? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Get me out of here! Oh Jesus. I want that to happen again. Alright, before we go in there, I want to backtrack and see if I missed anything. Damn it. Alright, fine. I guess we're shuttling along these one ways. It's fine if we go a little bit longer in today's stream. Those are literally enemies from Metroid. Those, like, things that go up and down. They move in a wave pattern. Okay, I don't know how to deal with that gun in a corridor like this. Oh, I see. You can unlock an extra area if you can get that fist to go, like, perfectly in that direction. Or you can just do this. Yeah, that works, too. We break the ice ourselves. And our reward is a key! Wait, what? Wait, what? We got the next key already? Huh. Uh, okay, I guess the challenge here is going to be just escaping. Yep. Hey, watch it. Yeah, alright. If there isn't an NPC waiting for us inside this, uh, next... Wait. We can't even get in there. Oh man. Never mind. What is that thing? It looks like that bug robot from before, but it's wearing like a massive CRT monitor on it. Whoa! We got like stovetop burners that shoot massive jets of flame. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> you you love and hate how the line on Sophia's wheels are slightly out of sync. <laughs> oh Jesus! Ugh, I don't like this. Get me out of here. Too soon. It's fine, it's fine. Uh... Is there any purpose to those things being in there? That's weird. It's like those enemy prisons that you occasionally see in, uh... games developed by Masahiro Sakurai. You know, your Kirby's, your Smash Brothers. Subspace Emissary, things of that nature! Oh god, oh god, oh god! I can push it back! I can push it back! You can't stop me! And that's apparently how you deal with that. 
Whew. This isn't gonna work. It's not gonna work. I'm dead. I'm dead. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, we didn't get sent too far back, I don't think. Just my luck to get walled off like that. Ugh. And the fact that these things hurt as well, ugh, I don't like it. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Checkpoints are generous enough? Oh yeah, that's... That's like the one saving grace with Blaster Masters as... Uh, the first Blaster Master Zero on hard mode is that checkpoints are plentiful. But boy oh boy are you gonna have a hard fucking time with the rest of it. I know your gimmick now. Nope. It's a trap! Get me out of here! Whew. Wow, okay, it's a- ah, Fire! <laughs> I can't stop to talk about anything because of these stupid fires. Ugh, I don't like it. At least it's not a one-hit death like Quickman lasers. That's such a widespread thing. If you have ever even come near Mega Man 2, you know exactly what Quick Man lasers are. But I wonder if that's, like, uh, something an ordinary person would recognize. Okay, I get it. When those things get, like, stuck on the wall, that's your chance to shoot them. Can I just, like... Ah, that's not gonna work too well, is it? Alright, I think as soon as I find the next checkpoint, I'm gonna try to wrap it up for the day. Oh! Uh, never mind, I thought this was gonna be a full-on dungeon. Okay, if it's just literally one boss, then fine, I'll fight it. What's it gonna be? Unknown Cell 46. What? Like, a biological- OH! JESUS! That's nasty! What do I do? Oh... God, I don't like this. Help. That's... That's honestly fucking scary. I don't like that. I'm gonna lay some mines and hope... Whoa! Whoa! Okay, dash counter is not going to help us here. Golly, I had nightmares about this sort of thing when I was a kid. These, like, creepazoid things that would, uh, like, ooze in. Like, it's the subject of a really cheesy horror movie as well. Oh, God, and the way that gets slower as it gets closer to you. Closer to the edge of the wall. <gasps> no, sir. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm just spamming my counter, and it's not helping. Am I dead? I'm... I am absolutely dead if I can't get one of these things to retreat. Okay. Note to self, when they do that again, focus on one at a time. Also, actually succeeding with counters would help, too. Oh, I really don't like this thing. The mines are definitely helping, though. Oh, God. No. No. Get away from me. I stepped on it. I don't even care. I've lost all my weapon energy. All I got are my sub-weapons now. Oh, no, they're moving! Oh, well, that makes the mines even more useful, actually. Help. Help. Help! Oh, God! That's terrifying. 
Ugh. The final boss of Resident Evil 2 is basically this, but gore-colored. Ugh. No, sir, I don't like it. I do not like it. Maybe the homing thing will help out? Oh, shoot, my, uh, my counter, uh, went back to what it was. Okay, if I land one of these things, then it's guaranteed to kill one of the little nodes. So that means I can just, like, continue walking, and I don't have to worry about it. Thank God for these mines, though. I think I'll lay him out like that. That should help. Oh, 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 I think I got it now. I think I got it. And yeah, the, the homing shots definitely help. I can just keep moving while they keep coming back and repeating their attacks. There we go. We totally got it now. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. We kind of got it, but I lost my homing thing. Shoot. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. This thing is a very clever boss, but Jesus, my thoughts exact exactly. I hope I don't have to fight a harder version of that thing. Burn Spark! A burning tackle attack. Oh! That's a new weapon for Sophia. This is the part I was looking for. We can increase G Sophia's energy output with this. That'll give Eve a steady supply of energy as well. Will it? It's, it's just a charge ability. Oh, I get it. You charge through barriers, and it can also charge up Eve. Whatever. I get it. I can't leave that behemoth free to rampage all over the place. So how does it work? Ah, I see. I think now would be a good time to call it a night. Uh, we'll save the scary... Wait a minute. Oh, I thought we were gonna have to, like, engage the boss right away. Alright, we can, we can, like, wrap it, wrap it up by, uh, advancing to the place where we need to go. And then we'll just, you know, save before we have to do the fight. Shoot! I fell for it. What? <laughs> do you see anyone else in here, Jason? Killing that thing won't save anyone. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. That's the only way you can do it. You just have to go. Like a ninja. Okay. Oh god. Get me out of here. Turn back. That's it, I'm turning back. I'll take the health, though. Hey, 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 hey. Got that out. Okay. All right, now we can get to a few new areas. Uh, I guess that's just a shortcut? Not even a shortcut. Is it? It's just a dead end! What's the point of this? Well, anyway. Honestly, we pr we're probably gonna have to kill that thing anyway just to escape. Seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. Yep. Just keep on breaking through. 
I gotta say, I love it when Metroidvania games do this. Where you have a challenging romp towards, uh... Towards an upgrade that makes the trip back so much easier. You might as well finish this level, you're almost done with it. I guess. Dang these bouncy things, I don't like them. Whoa, hi there. <laughs> you were, you were, you had places to be. Alright, if necessary, the boost ability is also very good for giving yourself a bit of, uh, iframes. I remember it from the first game. Ooh, there's some stuff up here, too. Is that where we need to go? I highly doubt it. I'm just gonna check the map, and if it looks like an optional area... Uh... Ah... Uh, it's so small, I feel like I... I'm not, like, losing anything... by embarking on this, like, side mission here. Whoa, whoa! I didn't realize that thing was on my side of the fence. Man, these things are, like, turbocharged. They're kind of scary. Oh, they can grow. And perhaps even reproduce. Ugh, I don't like these bug things. Is there any point to coming down here, or is that thing just there to be annoying? It's just there to be annoying. Our objective is that room on the left. Oh god, where'd they come from? Did they just reappear? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like the fact that they can just appear from anywhere. Oh god. Save me! Oh god, no! The walls are electrified, too. Every single room you step in, it really is the fucking silverfish from Minecraft. Jason looks like a Power Ranger, and that reminded you that there's a Power Ranger fighting game coming out this week. Well, that's interesting. God damn it, leave me alone, stupid bugs. They're gonna be coming from every angle, aren't they? Yep, there they are! Alright, it's fine. We got some health. We're fine. Although there's probably going to be more of them in here. I underestimated those bugs. I severely underestimated them. I did not account for the fact that they would be just showing up everywhere. Get me out of here. I don't even know what I picked up. It was a map module, wasn't it? Ugh. Let's pretend that never happened. Why did I just do that? I wanted to charge, not hop out of the tank. Alright, where are we going again? Is it the left room that we want? Uh... Hmm, something tells me maybe no? Uh, I don't know. I'm a little bit lost, I'll admit. Oh, that's a pretty cool move you can do. Alright, yeah, that's just where we came from, so... It's not really necessary, or is it? I'll test it out. I'll see where it goes. God damn it! <laughs> I, s I pressed the shoulder button by accident. Alright, so where's this go again? Over here. Is that where we want to be? No. I think we I think we need to go backwards a bit. Well at least the stupid air energy barriers stay destroyed, you know. Alright, so what's our real objective? Here! You 
Asshole, I hate these things. Am I going this way? Let's see, I think I've been in that place in the top left already. <laughs> Wolf didn't make that one. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Have I been that way before? No, wait, I've been here before. And I just came out of that sub room over there, didn't I? Oh god, I'm lost. Alright, I'm gonna hope that this is the right way. I, I really hope that I don't wind up looking at the chat and someone says, you're going back the way you came, you're going in a circle, or something like that. I just went in a fucking circle! God damn it! Ah! Well, I was curious about this place. I wondered if there was anything to the left, but it turns out, no. That's just a place for the boss to menace you. So we, we got, like, a part that's supposed to, like, re-energize Sophia? I mean, Eve. Yeah. Pfft. Ugh. Not even trying. I mean, we've exhausted most possibilities here. Honestly, I'm just trying to get back to the entrance at this point. Alright, let's try going right, I suppose. There has to be something I missed. Okay, that's one way to deal with a problem. Is this it? Is this what I missed? No way, that was the first place I went in. And that place up there... ...is how you get back, right? Alright. That's probably where we have to go. Because I think I've exhausted all other possibilities. Or have I? What about that little zone down there? Did I miss that? Like, go down a little bit further. Is there something down there? Oh, I have to go the long way around. Ah! The little zone is where the boss is. I'm sure it is. I'm wondering if that, like, uh, in the bottom, like, a couple of squares over to the left and up one. Is that where I need to go? I'm running into checkpoints like crazy right now. Oh, that was almost cool. I'm getting a feeling of deja vu, by the way. Have I already been up here? I think I've already been up here. This is really taking a toll on my sanity here. No, this is it. This is it. For some reason, I thought I had been here already. God damn it. One point of health. Let's do this. <laughs> It's gonna be like the nightmare fight from uh, Metroid Fusion again. There's the boss mutant. I'll finish this right here. Eve, you're awake. Yeah, my energy supply seems to have stabilized. Wait, a mutant? I'll analyze it right away. You just woke up, so take it a bit easy, okay? I'm fine, really. I've already caused you so much trouble. I want to fight together with you. All right, I'll be counting on your support. Let's do this. Bring it on. The Metal Guardian. Defend them all. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. Alright, that kind of worked. 
Ah! You know what? It's for the best. <laughs> it's for the best that I died right there. One for all's robot, defend them all. <laughs> Alright, so clearly I have to do something somewhere. But exactly what, I don't know. You know what, Eve, can you, like, give me tips if I, like, do this thing in the start menu? You have to do enough damage to destroy that barrier first. Got it. I'm sure I can get through it with the Burn Spark. This thing is gonna try to stop me. I have to avoid its attacks and be careful not to shut down. Oh, does that mean, like, try not to run out of uh, SP or something? What's that all about? Did I do damage? And if so, how? Ah! It's another avalanche boss. Oh, that's all I have to do is like use the burn spark on the shield? That's it? still a bit weird. <laughs> Away with you! So, I can't actually shoot this thing. All I have to do is break the barrier repeatedly. And try not to run out of SP. I still feel like I'm kind of missing something, though. Okay, that's not actually doing damage. Oh, I have to shoot the head! Of course, of course. I know just what to do about this. I might be running out of SP like crazy, but it's fine! We hit the ground, we recharged. Alright, so there's no point breaking the barrier if you can't, like, reach the head anyway. So, doing it down here doesn't do anything. God damn it, I got stuck on the wall. Whoa! Alright, it's fine. This is a pretty annoying fight, I have to say. You really only get, like, one second to do something in this fight. Ah! Yeah, you have to, like, do a drive-by and nail him that way. Or I guess you could, like, ram into the missiles or something. Oh, yeah, that's way smarter. All right. Trying to conserve my SP! Alright, this is substantially easier. You don't want to imagine this fight in hard mode? I don't even know what hard mode is gonna be like. But you can bet it's gonna be mental. Alright, that's the idea, I think, is to use iframes. Alright, I have figured out the purpose of the, uh, the shoot guns. Damn it, I almost got stuck on the wall again. 
Oh! What's this? What now, son? Uh-oh. He's not done yet. Uh, purpose of the guns is to keep you from, like, cheating. And staying in the air and continuing to shoot at the head. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We did it. Alright, so from what I can remember, the biggest difference is... Another access key? Did we just open up two new areas? It seemed like a lot happened while I was sleeping. Sorry I couldn't help you. Don't worry about it. We got the access key, no problem. And Sophia's energy production is better than ever. You've got nothing to apologize for. Jason! Alright, let's make our way to the tunnel. I don't, I don't think Fred can help us here, but... Okay, no. It's used for returning to the to the tank. Not for getting a quick escape out of the planet. That would be too easy. Alright, so what's the deal with hard mode? From my faint memories... Hard mode was mostly hard because of a severe lack of enemy drops. Like, you'd be lucky if you could get one teensy-weensy little point of health out of, uh, shooting, a shooting an enemy. In addition to that, that also made, uh, getting weapon energy much, much more difficult. Oh, oh, another thing. Another thing. Uh, boss fights were very difficult because bosses were only weak to two weapons. And I, I don't just mean that they were weak to them. I mean that they were immune to all other weapons. So you pick either the one that's, you know, the most effective, or you use your most effe your basic gun. Your level one gun. Those are your only options. And of course, if you take a hit... And you're left with only one option. And that's to use your basic gun. It's very, very, uh... Very challenging. Ah! Hey, at least I can do this now. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. You know, I gotta say, this, uh, interplanetary system really streamlines the, uh, process of getting from point A to point B and back. You know, I don't have to traverse the entire world, I just have to go through a subzone all over again. Alright, let's go! We found no signs of intelligent life, but now we have opened up two new places to go. We have to meet a new friend on one of them. Uh... Hmm. Alright, that goes to area B. This goes to area E. Let's check this out real quick. Oh, another cutscene. Hey, Eve, how are you doing? You're up walking around. Good, thanks to you, I'm feeling much better. With G. Sophia's energy output improved, Eve's internal energy supply has stabilized. Yay! Unfortunately, that doesn't mean the mutant corruption has stopped. She's putting on a strong face, but the mutant cells are still taking over her body from inside. I know Fred. Where's Fred in the picture? I want to see, like, Fred on my shoulder or something. We'll save Eve no matter what. Alright, I don't know what this is. If it looks vaguely plant-like, then this is where we are going to stay. I don't know, does that look like a cracked open melon to you? Planet Stranger. Stranga. Oh, there's no way this isn't where Kana lives. We've touched down on Planet Stranger. This sector Area E doesn't connect directly to Sophia's sector. However, the key for Area F, our next destination, appears to be here. Ugh. Eve, are you okay? Yeah, this might be a side effect of my extended sleep mode. Or... 
uh, there's something unstable on this planet. Maybe the magnetic field, or the gravity, or the atmosphere? Whatever it is, I'm getting a strange sensation. But Sophia seems fine. Your pilot suit should protect you from whatever it is, Jason. I see. Thanks, Eve. Take it easy and rest up. Yeah, I'll still support you however I can, though. Call me if you need anything. <laughs> a surprisingly normal statement. Whoa! Look at those things bouncing. This is definitely a little bit stranger! What the fuck? <laughs> it's such... It's just a blown-up sprite of something that we've seen already. That has to be, like, an intentional joke or something. This watermelon-colored watermelon kinda better be here. Uh... What's your deal? Oh, doesn't matter what your deal is, we got that thing again. So bizarre. A pacifistic enemy. I don't know what to make of it. I do not know what to make of it. Oh, what's this? Huh? Oh cool, we got rainbow flies. Uh Hello? Hello? What do you do? What do I do? Oh, I just keep shooting, huh? Oh, watch it! Watch it! Wow, these things are annoying. Time to fire the missiles! Just get out of here already. Okay, this is... this is very, like, ah, so annoying! Get out of here! Oh my god. What am I supposed to do? What do I do? I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die to a bunch of rainbow bugs! What was that all about? Am I, like, doing this out of order? Should I have gone somewhere else first? I encountered the beehive, apparently. Hmm. I'm getting a feeling. Whoa, whoa, that guy doubled back. That's weird. Maybe I shouldn't bother the, uh, flowers. Let's see if that changes anything. This is so stupid. What is this, even? Oh! Oh, they can go up too, can they? Can I, like... Hang on a minute. If I do this... Oh, yeah, that's like a full recovery. I'm gonna keep doing that. It's pretty good. Yep, now they start coming out in droves. Whose idea was this for an enemy fight? This is the worst. Uh, yo, where'd I go? Oh, 
Okay, apparently you can stand on top of that thing. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I would call it cheesy, however... Ah, it's too tedious. Wouldn't be worth it. Ugh, seriously though, these things are super annoying. Let's get out of here already. Uh-oh. Oh, we actually ran out of power. Whoops. Alright, there we go. Now, if I can just get you guys to behave and stay near the center, we can make some things happen. This is the worst fight in the entire game. I hate it. Please tell me there's no more after this. Did it. What was the point of that? Hmm. I want to enter the plant. What's in here? Some of these little fellas. Ah, we're so close. I can feel it. We're close to finding a new character. Whoa, whoa. What was that? Dude, that thing's shooting up power-ups. What? Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. A little bit more. There we go. Very nice. Very generous plant. However, it would appear that we can go no further. Shoot. Why not? Huh. Will something happen if I shoot this thing? I know that I shouldn't. Because it's been really nice to me, but uh, I can't think of anything else to do. This is such a weird place. I don't understand what's going on here at all. Maybe Eve has some advice on this. I actually really need some... Can I charge downwards? No, it's only horizontal. I was just analyzing the local plant life. It looks like many of the plants here are poisonous to mutants. Since the planet is overflowing with plants, it's as if the planet itself is poisonous to them. Poison affects their nerves, and in some cases, their genes. No wonder their evolutions and behavior are out of whack. I've yet to observe any effects on your health, Jason. But for the time being, let's avoid having you leave your pilot suit. That might also explain the way you're feeling as well. As it stands, part of Eve is transformed into a mutant state. Something poisonous to mutants is likely poisonous to Eve as well. It's probably too much to hope for. Again, this reminds me so much of Metroid Fusion. Like, the whole gimmick of that game is that Samus was infected with the uh, X-Virus, and she became, like, part Metroid temporarily. It's probably too much to hope for the poison to only kill the mutant cells inside your body. We shouldn't stick around here long. Jason, don't do anything crazy, okay? This planet is very different from every other mutant-infested planet we've visited so far. I've never seen anything like this before. I'd like to properly research it someday, but for now we gotta keep going. I did skip Planet D. Uh, we'll see how bad of a consequence that's going to be. Is that water? That is water. Oh god, that's weird. And the Mother Brains, they're... peaceful. And that thing's giant. This is... Stranger, alright. This is an apt name for this weird planet. Huh. Yeah, this is so weird. So there's no special gimmick to the flowers, other than it makes enemies pacifist. Hello! What? Flower! A metal attacker? There's one here too? Uh, can you not hear me? Here we go! One more time! Nice and loud! Ready? Flower! 
There she is. <laughs> is that her? Is that her <laughs> companion? Oh my god, he's like, he's like Al, he's like a butler with goat horns. What is this? Miss, demanding a flower from someone you don't know is quite rude. Ah, you're a major buzzkill. I totally saw you. You two like fell from space, right? Oh yeah, we. I can't believe you came to attack us again. Totally lame. Huh? Yeah, like in that silver, purplish, super fast ship. That silver and purple ship? Hold on a sec. That wasn't. Like totally no way. So totally, you know. I'm not sure they do know, Miss. I'm so awesome at beating up losers like you. She's so totally not listening to us. Oh. Nor M A O six. Air? Oh, is that the name of her tank? Air? Cool. Whoop. I got a feeling we're gonna want the uh super dash for this. Is that thing doing a pure away? That's ridiculous. I just know something. I just know something. I need to point this out before I, like, lose my concentration. Uh... If you successfully ram an enemy with the burn spark, because the whole, like, energy recovery system is based on impacts, that actually recovers... Like, that makes up for most of the energy that you burn by dashing. And that's awesome. See, watch my SP. It just keeps going back up. It's amazing. Whoa! Lucky dodge. Okay. You've had your fun. Now, tell us, what is your deal? We aren't your enemy. Please listen to us. Nah. Huh? Nope, nope, nope! I'm not a loser! Miss Kana, please calm down. You're making a scene. Come on! Oh my, ever the handful she is. My humblest apologies to you. This young lady is Kana, pilot of the Nora MA06 Air. I am her support droid, Kenwood, at your service. Yeah! What is that thing? And this charming support animal is Yakopu. So there was a story behind that dragonfly thing. I want to know what freaking Gonbei's uh, support animal is. Indeed, it seems our support animals will get along quite splendidly. Now then, it is quite a coincidence that we have crossed paths. May I inquire as to what brought you here? Uh, sure. Actually... After that, we explained everything about our current situation. Seems like Kana had been attacked by another MA before we met. She then came to the conclusion that other MA pilots were enemies. I see. For the sake of Miss Eve's health, you should you set out on a journey. Oh yeah? That's right. If you could tell us anything you know about the access key, it would be a huge help. Hey, hey! I totally know all about it! Really? Then please tell us. No way! <sighs> what? Why not? You know you're, we're not your enemies, right? No way means no way. If you, like, bring me three kinds of fruit, I might change my mind and tell you about the key. Three kinds of fruit? Could you be a bit more specific? Ha! <laughs> Jason, looks like she's getting bent out of shape. Rude, I'm in great shape, not even a little bit bent. We should just do what she wants and find that fruit. <laughs> Eve is just done with this character already. Uh, I guess we gotta go track those things down. I'm terribly sorry, Miss Connor can be so stubborn sometimes. I know, right? She just, like, gets a total attitude. To obtain the fruit, you must pass through a troublesome rocky area. Please take this part. It will allow you to break through even solid rock. A drop attack. Finally! Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I was gonna try to like board her ship. All right, how's so? How does this work? Drill! <laughs> oh, that was the thing that she was using against us. Oh, that's funny. All right. Well, as soon as I find another checkpoint, let's backtrack a little bit. Oh, hello, Miss Kana. It's time for your water. Today is from a mineral spring. Yum! This is the good stuff. It's got what I crave! Kenwood is pouring water into Kana's head from a watering can. Peeking in on my private time is like, Toad's not cool! Shame! Shame! Ah, uh, well, whatever. Did you bring my fruit? About that. I don't have them yet. No fruit, no talk. Hurry along now. Bring fruit next time. Actually, like, wait a sec. That, uh, boing thingy? Or was it a sproing thingy? Repulsion upper, miss. Right, totally. If you don't have it, you should, like, find it. Is she trying to be nice to us? I have no idea what she's thinking. Well, there's the checkpoint, but I can't actually use it. Alright, it's fine. We can just go find another one. I think we're going to have to leave this planet anyway. I think that was our hint. That we need a, like, uh, space jump. To use Metroid terminology. In order to proceed. So let's go ahead. Go back to the entrance of the planet. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh. Okay, note to self. Uh, this thing cannot jump horizontally. No, vertically. Out of water. Oh god. Oh god, this is so finicky. I don't like it. Okay then. Hmm. This is gonna be tricky. Just getting back to where we were. If I can just. Eh! So close! Just ignore the. Oh. Uh, you know what? That's good enough. I'll figure out how to escape from here later. <laughs> there we go. There's the main menu. Alright. Objective complete. We found Kana. Now I can leave. <laughs> we came here to figure out the deal with Kana, but we came out even more confused. Yes, indeedy. <laughs> well, that was fun. But uh, apparently we're going to need to do a bit of backtracking before we can actually do anything with her, so... Stay tuned for that next week, I suppose.